Recently, a couple of videos have surfaced where the creators responsible have recreated Chester Bennington's voice with AI and had him cover Slipknot's Snuff as well as Stone Sour's Bother. Surprisingly, a majority of the internet was actually supportive of this and both have garnered praise seemingly across the board. That is unless you happen to be Slipknot's very own Corey Taylor who was most definitely not a fan. Talking to Loudwire on Loudwire Nights, Corey Taylor said the following. As honoured as I would be to have something real like that from Chester, it's just not right. People have really got in the habit of stepping on graves and they don't care. That's what bothers me the most, this true apathy for anything other than their own needs. How selfish do you need to be? He had very little praise for AI generated music on the whole, saying, It's cheap. I don't know what it is about human beings. They keep opening Pandora's box for God's sake. It's scary, dude. I thought deepfake was bad, and now here comes AI and all you do is teach this thing to do this, or you type this thing to do that, and all of a sudden it's just there. How much more do we want to lessen, and I mean lessen as in detract from, what we actually do as human beings? How much more do we want to take away from our own creativity? How much more do we want to make reality completely pointless, or better yet, how much do we completely want to devalue true talent, true creativity, true hard work, true persistence and heart to the point now that people are going to question whether it's you or not. It's so ridiculous. Here at 180 Seconds, we tend to agree with Corey Taylor on this. Part of the reason we listen to rock, metal, jazz, soul, funk, blues, whatever, is because it comes from the heart. It's real music made by real people and has something within it that speaks to us as individuals. It's made from raw emotion, and that raw emotion is what attracts us to the music in the first place. If we wanted to listen to some artificially generated songs that had all the appeal of dragging a cheese grater across our faces, we'd listen to pop music. But what do you think? Are AI generated songs, usually featuring people who are no longer with us, nothing more than a cash grab by a bunch of grey robbers with morals that would make Burke and Hare blush? Or is the future of music really artificially generated? Sound off in the comment section and let us know.